Hello everyone and welcome to Bevan's Bricks. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I build my Lego display table. So if this is something that interests you, stick around, cause it's coming up. Now the first thing I wanna do is explain, or at least show you all the wood that I bought to build the first portion, I'm gonna call it, of my display table. Uh, the reason I'm calling it the first portion is I'm going to start with an eight by 20 foot table. Uh, and then I'm gonna add on from there, cause it's gonna take me a while to even just fill up that eight foot by 20 foot section. So anyway, this is everything that I needed for building that eight by 20 foot section. I've got four two by four by tens. I got a bunch of two by fours, 20 to be exact. They're eight foot in length. And then I got five sheets of BCX plywood. Uh, the reason I'm bringing up the type of plywood that it is is because it's sanded on one side, it's not on the other. And the reason that I did that is with it being sanded on the one side, it gives you a much smoother surface. So when I go to scoop my Lego uh, builds and stuff along the top of the table, it's not gonna be pulling up on any uh, chunks of wood. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So now the first thing I'm going to be doing is clearing up some of this stuff out of the way. And again, the reason I went with the 8x20 foot table is I want to have at least four, four to five feet, which it'll actually be four and a half feet on all sides of the table. So I can freely walk around the table at any time to be able to relocate, move and play with some of the different stuff I'm going to have on the table. And now that I've cleared a little space, let's get started. Now that I have the basic layout all set up and ready to go, I'm going to start screwing it together. Uh, just to explain what I've done here is I've got two 10 foot two by fours on that side, two 10 foot two by fours on this side, and then I got these uh, six two by fours in the center. They're at four foot on center. And what I got those for is the reason that they're on center anyway is when I bring my sheets of plywood to put it on top of this, I want them to be able to screw to the same board. That way all the wood is at the same and even plane. Uh, once I get this all screwed together, I'm going to put three two by fours going, uh, I guess we'll call it vertically since we're looking at it this way or horizontally, excuse me. Uh, we're gonna put three two by fours, two foot on center between each one of these gaps. And then I'm gonna put the legs on it and then we're gonna lift it up and start putting a tabletop on it. So let's get back to work. Anyway, now that we have that all screwed together, uh, again, just for the sake of where we're looking at it, these are my horizontals and these are my verticals. Uh, all my verticals are currently four foot on center. And then I have my two horizontals at 20 feet. And then these verticals, or excuse me, these three horizontals are all two feet on center. So now I gotta cut the other 12 uh, boards that are gonna be horizontal and I'm cutting them at 46 and a half inches. So we can screw it all together, get the tabletop on it, get the legs on it and get to building. Hopefully I'm making this video as quick as possible because I know that a lot of people would not really be that interested into the woodwork and so on and so forth of making a Lego table. Um, but anyway, now that I have all my horizontals, like I said, I'm calling these my horizontals, on my two foot on center screwed together. I've got all my verticals on my four foot on center screwed together. Now I have to cut a total of 20 32 inch legs, get those screwed together and on the table, and then I'll start putting the tabletop on. Now that I have all the decking screwed down, I'm gonna start propping up one side and putting all the legs, you can see the piles that I have <laughs> all over the place. Uh, again, it's 20 legs in total at 32 inches in height. And here we have it, the fully finished eight by 20 foot table. Uh, I wanna show you something else that I did too. When doing a table this size, <laughs> and, and to make sure it's stout, of which, as you can see, it's not going nowhere. Uh, I made a bunch of these 12 inch corner braces. So on every leg in the center, there is a corner brace supporting that leg as well. That way there is no risk of it moving or tilting in any way, shape or form. And on every corner, I put two, one in every direction. Uh, so again, this is just for the people that have been asking me if I could show them how I do my table. And that's it for making the table for my Lego City, guys. Now, again, I want to point out that that is not as big as I'm going. I do plan on extending the City table 
much bigger than even that particular space, but it's going to take me a while to just get that much of the air, uh, not airport. I do plan on putting an airport back in it though. Uh, it's going to take me some time though, just to get that much of a city filled back in. And once that's filled back in, I'll start adding eight foot sections out here and there as I can. So anyway, as always, thank you for coming to Bevan's Bricks. I hope you enjoyed this show. Uh, <laughs> As you can tell, the next video should be a LEGO City update, finally. Um, but again, thanks for coming to Bevan's Bricks, and we'll see you next time on Bevan's Bricks.